We now want to look at two extreme cases where the Elling curve is horizontal and where it's vertical. Remember, we, we learned about K and H previously. So if you recall that money market equilibrium is where your money supply is equal to money demand. And if you rearrange that equation, we get an expression in terms of I, and there's a whole lot of other factors in here too. But the ones that are relevant to us are K over H that the steepness of an LM curve is related to K over H. The higher is K and the lower is H, the steeper will be your LM curve. What is K? K is the sensitivity of the demand for money to changes in income, where H is the sensitivity of the demand for money to changes in the interest rate. So uh, the steeper the LM curve, the higher is K, the lower is H. So in this situation, we've got a very small h at the extreme. We've actually got h equal to zero, as opposed to here where um, as your LM curve becomes flatter, we see that the value of h rises. And here we, we have a situation where at a given interest rate, the public are actually prepared to hold any quantity of money. Um, and this is called a situation of a liquidity trap. And it comes out of some of the ideas of John Maynard Keynes, this low interest liquidity trap. And we've observed this, for instance, in Japan when um, there was like a zero interest rate liquidity trap and in more recent years in America where it was very difficult to reduce interest rates any further and try and increase income or output in the economy. So Bernanke at the Fed had to resort to unconventional methods like changing long-term interest rates um, through quantitative easing in order to try and stimulate that economy. So in a, in a liquidity trap, we find that money, monetary policy is very ineffective in changing interest rates and output. As opposed to the classical situation where your L curve is vertical and if the money supply were to increase, we see that your L M curve shifts to the right and that brings about a substantial change in interest rate and income or output for the economy. And so monetary policy is highly effective in that instance. So let's recap. So uh, the steeper the LM curve, the higher is K, the lower is H. So in this extreme where LM is vertical, it's extremely steep, H is going to be incredibly low. In fact, it's going to be zero in that instance. As opposed to this situation, as it becomes flatter, we see that the value of H rises and monetary policy becomes more ineffective. So what you've learned about makes a big difference to the effectiveness of monetary policy in the economy.